What, what I can tell you, do, I do think. Do you agree with your alma mater's policy of discriminating against Asian Americans in admissions? I, I'm not aware of a particular policy of um, discrimination in admissions um, at Yale Law School. But I think to your larger question... That you described the hatred of conservatives, the righteous indignation, the anger at conservatives as a tremendous source of power for you personally. How does that possibly give anyone comfort that you would be a fair and impartial judge? This was a comment that I made in church where I was relaying a joke. That kind of temporary sugar rush from being angry at someone, um, while it can feel powerful in a moment, it's not the kind of thing that is sustaining for a human being in the long run. Well, that's not what you said. And, And what you said is you described hatred and righteous indignation directed at conservatives. In his first year in office, President Biden has made a pattern of nominating extreme partisans and radicals to serve in the administration, but especially to serve on the bench. And unfortunately, that pattern continues today. Mr. Ho, you will not be surprised that I want to address some questions to you. In my view, your record reflects that same pattern of finding someone who has been an extreme partisan, who has been a radical, and President Biden trying to put judicial robes on that partisan and radical agenda. And I would note at the outset that that's not just my characterization. Uh, You yourself have described yourself as, quote, a wild-eyed leftist, and further as someone, quote, accused sometimes of seeing discrimination everywhere you look. Is, is, is that right? Senator Cruz, I think the key word in that quote is accused. Uh, what I was well, doing... Let's start with the first one, wild-eyed sort of leftist. Well, again, Senator Cruz, I think I was characterizing how others have caricatured myself. Okay. Well, uh, let's take a quote you wrote in, in November 2017, and I found it amusing, the exchange a moment ago with one of the Democratic senators about Oh, some older intemperate statements. I would note just sitting here, this, this may be a first in, in that you have tweeted attacks at multiple members of this committee, including Senator Lee, Senator Cotton, Senator Blackburn, Senator Cornyn, and, and far from being intemperate statements when you were a teenager, and most of these tweets occurred last year. So in the last 12 months, you have engaged, or the last about 18 months, you have engaged in partisan attacks on multiple members of this committee. But you also wrote in November 2017, quote, in these dark times, I've been fortunate to find tremendous sense of purpose in my work as a civil rights lawyer. But as a colleague of mine asked me over lunch recently, Dale, do you do this because you want to help people or because you hate conservatives? What he was getting at is that anger can, in fact, be a tremendous source of power. For me, righteous indignation can provide a sense of moral clarity and motivate the long hours needed to get the work done. But it's only a short-term burst. It's not sustaining in the long run. Mr. Ho, if you wake up and are Judge Ho, and I recognize that New York is a blue state, but imagine there is someone who considers himself or herself a conservative in the state of New York, who, God forbid, finds themselves in a courtroom where you're wearing a robe, what comfort do you think that litigant would have that you described the hatred of conservatives, the righteous indignation, the anger at conservatives as a tremendous source of power for you personally. How does that possibly give anyone comfort that you would be a fair and impartial judge? Thank you, Senator Cruz, for giving me an opportunity to address this. Um, As I mentioned to some other members of the committee, this was a comment that I made in church where I was relaying a joke that someone else had told, the point of which was that that kind of temporary sugar rush from being angry at someone, um, while it can feel powerful in a moment, it's not the kind of thing that is sustaining for a human being in the long run. That at the end of the day, if you want to do good work in the world, it has to come from a different place, a place of love for your fellow person. Um, And that's what I was trying to convey to my fellow congregants at my church. Well, that's not what you said. And, and what you said is you described hatred and righteous indignation directed 
at conservatives. And I would note that that's a pattern that also continues. You know, a minute ago you talked about how you're dedicated to equality. And I will say, looking at your record, that is not in fact the case. Your record instead is a partisan view. So for example, you are a graduate of the Yale Law School. The Yale Law School has an open policy of discriminating against Asian Americans. One of the first things that Joe Biden's Justice Department did was dismiss the investigation against Yale because today's Democratic Party believes discriminating against Asian Americans in admissions is an acceptable form of bigotry. Do you agree with the Biden administration on that? Um, Senator Cruz, I, I haven't followed the ins and outs of what the Biden administration has done um, with respect to that particular matter. What, what I can tell you, do, I do think- Do you agree with your alma mater's policy of discriminating against Asian Americans in admissions? Well, Senator Cruz, I, I'm a member of the National Asian Pacific American Bar Association. I try to do what I can um, in the Asian American legal community. I, I'm not aware of a particular policy of um, discrimination in admissions um, at Yale Law School. But I think to your larger question, Senator Cruz, I, I clerked for judges who were appointed by executives of different parties. Um, they set an example for me that politics, you can have political views, but they don't have a role on the bench. Um, and I would look to follow their examples. Well, your record suggests precisely the contrary.